power on the machine. The machine can't be operated without a punching die installed. Lower the feed tray using feed tray icon button on the touchpad and load paper onto the feed table. Press the green run icon button to lift the tray. Open the plexiglass cover and position the back and side guides against the stack of paper. Close the cover and push the green run icon on the control panel and hold until the feed table begins to rise and release. The machine will not operate while the cover is open. The machine will cycle and pull a lift of paper and stop. The foot stops and side jogger will move into position and stop. The operator can fine tune the foot stops and side jogger at this time. As a safety feature, there is a timeout feature on the solenoids. To reactivate, press the green run icon button. To adjust the foot stops, turn the black knob on the solenoid support block on the foot stops and position them so they are touching the lift of paper. The paper shouldn't buckle. To adjust the side jogger, turn the black knob on the solenoid support block and position the side jogger so it is touching the lift of paper. The paper shouldn't buckle. Push and hold the green run icon on the control panel until the lift of paper has been punched and moves into the reception bin and release button. Set the magnetic paper guides in the reception tray. Remove the paper that was just punched and inspect the holes to verify they are centered on the paper. To adjust the punching so it's centered on the sheet, release the die with the tool changing die icon and unlock the die and remove it halfway out of the machine. Loosen the die centering block with an Allen key and slide the block back or forth. This moves the centering pin located on the die to change the die's stop position in the machine. Adjust the position and lock the die centering block back into place. Moving the die pin back on the die means the die will slide further into the machine and the holes will align closer to the back of the machine. Moving the die pin forward on the die means the die will not slide as far into the machine and the holes will align closer to the front of the machine. Run another test sheet and inspect the holes to verify they are centered on the paper. Repeat as needed. Once job is approved, hit the Run icon to complete the job.